Several times during late winter and early spring, the skies over New Jersey fill with smoke. But this is not cause for alarm. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service is merely conducting a prescribed burn. The definition of a prescribed burn is the skillful application of fire under exacting conditions of weather and fuel in a predetermined area for a specific purpose to achieve specific results. What this means is that since 1928, the fire service has used fire as a tool to protect the lives and property of our residents living near the forest lands of New Jersey. The primary purpose of prescribed burning in New Jersey is to reduce the hazardous accumulations of forest fuels. This aids in the prevention of wildfires, reduces the intensity of fires, and also provides a foundation for safer, more effective fire suppression and protection operations. While the principal reason for prescribed burning is wildfire hazard reduction, it also has numerous secondary benefits including wildlife habitat management, site management for forestry activities, ecological plant and animal management, forest disease and pest control, nutrient recycling, grassland management, improved accessibility, and enhanced appearances. Some species of pine tree that make up the landscape of the New Jersey Pine Barrens thrive as a result of fire, as the heat from the fire causes the pine cones to drop their seeds and continue the circle of life. The New Jersey Forest Fire Service has used prescribed burning as a fire management tool since 1928. It has proven to be an effective and economical practice in protecting New Jersey's forests and safeguarding the state's residents. Prescribed burning is a job requiring knowledge of forest fuels, fire behavior, suppression techniques, local weather conditions, and fire effects. Consequently, a written plan must be developed well in advance of the proposed burn to allow time for review and the preparation of all necessary all right, permits. Guys, so I applied for the, the burn plan over the summer here, the burn permit. I intend to burn at Cloverdale Farms here. It's been a couple years since we've been back there. So the burn review came back okay. There's a couple threatened and endangered species that we have to mitigate for. And so in this area, there's, there's some pine snakes. So we're gonna move one of these plow lines. And then in this area, there's some broom and crowberries. So we're just totally gonna avoid that at, at all costs. So today I just wanna go over my burn plan with you and just run through this and make sure it makes sense and make sure we're hitting all the points here. So at Cloverdale Farms is our planned burn. And, and what's the history of the unit? So this originally used to be a cranberry farm and uh, burn Planning considerations include a site map depicting the burn area, objectives and techniques, ranges of preferred weather conditions, smoke management considerations, burning techniques, equipment and manpower needs, emergency suppression procedures, permit requirements and notification procedures. This is conducted through the Nixel program or through local media. So when we burn this, we're gonna utilize these plow lines as we normally do. They've, we're gonna replow the plow lines. And the intended burn pattern, we're gonna use backing fire, which is low intensity fire, just small flame lengths so that it chews through that fuels, reduces the fuels efficiently. New Jersey's prescribed we'll burning planting. season is limited to the period between October 1st and March 31st. Uh, Trevor, going back to the threatened and endangered species, um, they're in there. Is that, does that change your burn window at all? Sometimes it does. Sometimes we have to burn before a certain time period, March 15th, or or even we have to start after a certain date. I think February might be one. Once all the yeah. permits and documents are in order, it is time to begin pre-burn preparation. Does anyone have any questions? No, sounds no. like a solid plan. Yeah, yeah it, it looks does. great. Great, okay. The office issued a permit, so we're good to go. We'll just make all our notifications the day of or a couple days out and we'll make sure all our resources are ready to go. Right. The first step in preparation for a burn is installation or reinstallation of plow lines. Fire lines or plow lines are created by plowing a path through the underbrush wide enough to provide a stop that will aid in preventing fire from reaching outside the planned burning area. I'm Trevor Rayner from New Jersey Forest Fire Service. I'm a section fire warden and I cover Southern Ocean County. And today we're prepping for prescribed burn season. 
and burn season is from October through March in the dormant season, the winter. And we're out here, we're planning to burn this piece of, of forest in Cloverdale Farms in Ocean County. And the reason we're doing that is to reduce hazardous fuels. Hazardous fuels being the leaves and the pine needles on the forest floor. And when we burn those over the winter months, it reduces them and prevents a wildfire in the spring. Once the planning and preparation work have been completed, it is necessary to await the proper fuel and weather conditions. In New Jersey, only about 15 optimum burning days occur during the burning season. As a result, when conditions are optimal, fire wardens may conduct multiple prescribed burns on the same day throughout New Jersey. Once the burning day has been selected, crews are then briefed on the critical details of the burn. All right, so today we're burning at Cloverdale County Park here in Barnegat, and we're doing 31 acres of forest. As far as objectives go today, we're here to reduce hazardous fuels and um, provide for firefighter and public safety at all times. Traffic safety is paramount, but with the north wind, I think we'll be okay with traffic. Um, conduct a good, safe, effective prescribed burn and be fire ready at all times. And we're training a couple new crew members here today. Details that must be met are to review current and expected weather conditions, inspect conditions at the site, notify local authorities, brief burning crews, ensure readiness of the burning and fire suppression equipment, and set a test fire to confirm burning conditions. Once all of the qualifications and details are set, the burning crew is ready to ignite the control and interior lines in a systematic and progressive procedure to ensure that the entire area is burned over in the planned manner. New Jersey Forest Fire Wardens utilize drip torches as well as other devices to ignite the lines. A five or six person burning crew may burn 600 to 1,000 acres a day. During the burn, fire officials will take every effort to protect property, signs, and structures within the burning area by raking away existing fuels such as leaves or by installing a wet line to prevent ignition. The area must be monitored until the fires are secure and will not escape the area. Prescribed burning in a given area is normally repeated on an interval of three to five years. Annually, the New Jersey Forest Fire Service burns an average of 10,000 to 15,000 acres of public lands and 5,000 acres of private lands. At the completion of the burn, the area will be left black and charred. But that is not the end. It is merely the beginning. Within as much as three to four weeks, we begin to see new growth, green grass, and thriving wildlife. Each prescribed burn is then reviewed by the fire wardens as to whether or not specific objectives were met and how effective the burn was to meet those objectives. Okay, so we're back out here at a prescribed burn that we did approximately three to four weeks later. Just checking things out, we reduced hazardous fuels, increased wildlife habitat, we have fresh green grass growing, the birds and the deer love it. And then when we burnt here, I saw you had a lot of cooperators out here and crew members, so we got some good training in. We've increased the health of the area, the forest health and, and the wildlife habitat for sure. Yeah, I think we met all of our objectives. Yeah, good job. You too. Thanks. For some, fire is something to fear. Fire can be an extremely destructive force. However, the practice of using prescribed burning as a fire management tool is the best line of defense in preventing wildfires. For more information about prescribed burning, visit the New Jersey Fire Safety Council at www.njfiresafetycouncil.org. This has been a WWN Interactive Video Production.